Okay, so uh, the last video was it, I spoke about near death experiences, and this video I'm going to talk about um, broken my my broken bloodline and reincarnation. Um, a lot of these videos is going to be about reincarnation. It's going to be mostly about my memory recall, what I remember. Um, so when I went to Peru, I, uh, I I asked about my family and why my family, why have I suffered so much in this lifetime? And why is it that my family, they don't love me and why that they treat me the way that they do? And what I saw was my bloodline, my whole lineage, family lineage, lineage was um, broken. And uh, uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure what happened, what was the break off, um, but it was, it, it was clear that the family, something happened that just tore, tore the, you can see tore the whole family apart or led them to each one of them to a darker path. I'm not, I don't. I'm not sure where it stemmed from, but that's what I saw. And um, I was told that I was, I was, I must help them. And I, and I, when in the state, I was, when I was talking to the plant ayahuasca, or the ayahuasca, I was explaining to her that I tried, like I tried everything. Um, I can't help someone who, or help anyone who don't want to be helped. And uh, they have to make their own path. Uh, but that's not my job, you know. I did I did what I could, I did all that I can, and now when I have a family, I can do the right thing and create a lineage or a bloodline that that rise above and uh, and and don't fall into darkness. And so, in this lifetime, my my older sister, her her son, her daughter, her two sons and her daughter. So, she, my older sister was my wife. I, in one of my lifetimes, I remember her being my wife. I remember she was a doctor, and I was a nurse. And I remember getting married. And we had kids. It's you now in this lifetime she doesn't remember, but um, in this lifetime, they the family they treat me like I am nothing, and in this lifetime they treat me like I don't exist, like I don't matter. Um, I'm just a nobody, and um, it's kind of it's kind of painful at times. Uh, because I have the memories, I re I have the memory recall. Um, uh, but uh, I'm tired, so I'm just work. But um, yeah, um, I also remember. Um, being Japanese, I was a girl, a Japanese girl, in one of my lifetimes. It, it, it explains why I like the culture, um, and uh, the, 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 the clothing, art, stuff like that. Um, but tonight, uh, I had this uh, sensation of this feeling like something was telling me to wake up, Jose, wake up. Like you're in a trance and you need to take things more seriously. And you need to, um, you need to stay firm and um, fight harder uh, for what you want. I'm not quite 100% sure, uh, but... Um, Basically, it was what was 
what I was understanding that um, this I, I, was, I was in a game it's just game of life and the stakes are very high and and that you need to you need to do what you need to do to to get out and be honest with yourself And, and fight harder. And I saw myself, um, base and basically what was being told to me, you need to, uh, you need to ascend and you need to show yourself more love, deeper love. You need to go deep within yourself, um, more deeper sense of understanding, more deeper self of, of love and to cleanse and heal. And I, at that moment, I saw an image of an entity in my brain or in my mind, like popping out, laughing, and like trying to. So it was. It's. I believe it's light, trying to impose its influence on my brain, its negativity on my brain, so I can think. So I. So I wouldn't stay focused. So I would always be in a trance, always be distracted, always be somewhere else. That's what I was sensing and, and feeling. That was the signal that was hitting me. And um, the other day, I was watching Crystal Clear. Um, and she was talking about sex trafficking and stuff like that. And I went online because I want, um, I want to do, do a video on that. And I saw celebrities' names, a ton of them. Do you know when you go online now, you don't see that anymore? Like, they're altering information so people don't, like, so people don't wake up and people don't know what's going on. The same way that they're altering information about the coronavirus, like, uh, for example, uh, auction aid levels and circulatory blood levels. And they saying circulatory blood levels is your oxygen, oxygenated levels, and you have doctors saying the same thing. So they're altering information. They're lying to us, and we are accepting it. And so, uh, and that's what they're doing with the sex trafficking. There's there's a lot of things that we don't know, uh, and th that they're doing behind closed doors, and. I was getting ready to expose it, and I felt like the I felt the parasites inside saying no, and I felt like they were grabbing me, like my like my brain, and my my body, my back, like it, it was like a claw, and it was pulling me back, and I felt like the energy, like sucking the life force out of me, to not speak about it. Um, ever since then. Um, I've been noticing and feeling like negative energy. I've been feeling someone been it's like something's been trying to choke me, put their hand around my neck, um, and 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 watching me. Uh, but I have, to, but I have to do it. So, um, but but yeah, um, that's. Right now, that's all I have to say currently. But, yeah. <sighs>